Here I have a salt water fuel cell, very different from other types of fuel cell. It consists of two electrodes and what I'm going to do is plug in one side to the other and we have a piece of magnesium and what we're going to use is some salt water. So I've got some distilled water here and I'm going to place a little bit of salt in here and I really don't seem to need very much and then we'll give this a little mix. What makes a difference to the salt water fuel cell is simply temperature. The temperature of this water and to a certain extent the concentration seems to affect the rate of electricity that's produced. So we have that salt water now made up and what I'm going to do is put using this system about 15 mils into this cell. So that puts about five. Ten. Fifteen mils. Now, if I set this system up, I'm going to put the negative to the magnesium and I'm going to take the other side here and what we're going to do is connect it up to a little electric motor. So let's see if it gets going. Put the rest of the cell in and give this a little touch and off it goes. Let's now stop this motor. So I'll unplug the fuel cell and what we're going to do is we're going to take this out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the same back in, same water back in, but this time I'm going to heat this up to about 90 centigrade. Let's try that. This is now water at around about 90 centigrade. It's quite hot. And let's fill up the fuel cell again with 15 mils of hot salt water. And let's plug this in again. And we'll see if we can see any difference. The motor started much faster. I still have to seem to give it a little bit of a kick to get it going. And this is going quite a bit faster. And it got going quite a lot quicker. The salt water fuel cell runs for, in fact, quite a long time, quite a few hours, which beats things like the fuel cell in this type of system because that's only got a small amount of hydrogen. But it shows that a small amount of salt water can power this. But we do get through these magnesium electrodes and that costs.